In today's video, we will be going through the process of installing Ubuntu Server on VMware Fusion and this one is running on Mac OS environment. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I mentioned in today's video, I will be walking you through the process of installing Ubuntu Server on VMware Fusion. Okay, so quickly before we get started, if you are not familiar VMware Fusion is basically a virtualization software that you can use to install additional operating systems on your host operating system. So in other words, uh, right now I'm running on macOS environment and if you wanted to install a virtual machine for Windows operating system or a, a Linux operating system, you can install that on top of VMware Fusion. So VMware Fusion provides you with that environment where you can install additional uh, operating systems on your existing host uh, operating system. All right. So in this video, we will be going through the process of installing Ubuntu Server on uh, this VMware Fusion. And again, this one is running on my Mac environment. If you do not have VMware Fusion installed, I made a video previously where I went through the process of uh, installing VMware Fusion. So definitely do take a look into that video and I will also put a link in the description for this video so that you can go and take a look. Okay. And once you have your VMware Fusion installed, the next thing that we'll do is go ahead and download the Ubuntu server image and then uh, come here and create the operating system in our environment right here. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Um, so to download the image, just go to Ubuntu uh, website. Uh, you can just type Ubuntu here. And this is the official website for Ubuntu. Uh, and you can open this in a new tab. And if you go to products and we want to download the server, so we will go uh, to this section for server and we are going to download. Uh, so just hit here, download Ubuntu server. And right here, uh, this page here, this is the uh, default downloads page. If you go ahead and uh, download this, uh, this by default, uh, installs the image for Windows, uh, at least in my experience. So if you're running on Mac, um, that will not run for you. So we do need to install the ARM architecture or the ARM uh, version of the server, ARM that is. So we will go ahead and uh, for that you can find them here in the alternative architecture. So if you open this in a new tab, it will bring you here and uh, here you, you have these various uh, options here, one for IPM and the one that we want to download is for this ARM and this one runs well with Apple uh, devices. So again, for MacBook, this is the one that you need. So I'm just going to open this on a new window and uh, this is the, uh, as you can see here, it says this is Ubuntu server for ARM and we will go ahead and uh, hit download here. So you can do this. Uh, if you just want to go straight forward without having to click through, you can uh, type Ubuntu desktop or Ubuntu server uh, ARM like that. And uh, you can see here that you have this Ubuntu for ARM and it will bring you to the same location. Okay. So those are just basically the two ways that you can find the server for uh, ARM. And uh, we'll go ahead and download this. So I'm just going to hit here, download uh, this Ubuntu server 24.04.1 LTS. And it is going to start your download. Uh, so this might take uh, some time. So we will let it download and then come back once it is downloaded. Okay, so our image is now downloaded and we don't have to do anything here. I mean, you can move it to a different folder, but I'm just going to leave it in downloads. And now once, uh, now that we have our live server image available, the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and uh, switch to our VM Fusion right here. And I'm just going to make this one full screen. 
and then from here to create a new virtual machine pointing to that um, ISO image for Ubuntu server that we just downloaded all you have to do is just hit here where it says uh, you see add button here and click new so you do it like that and uh, what we need to do is we can drag our so you can see here, drag your ISO file here to start installing so I'm just going to actually minimize this uh, I'm going to minimize this like so and let's just do that again right here okay we'll bring that here we'll go to our finder and go to downloads we will drag this image right there okay and I will click this let's close it and now the next thing that we need to do is click continue so I'm just going to hit continue and uh, here you can customize so by default you get uh, 20 GB for disk and the memory is 4 gigabytes so if you don't want if you don't, if you want to increase this or reduce you can go to customize settings and uh, do that but I think this is good for me I'll just leave the defaults as they are and we will hit finish okay and I'm just going to click save here Alright, so this should start our s installation now. Um, and as you can see here, it's able to detect the Ubuntu server. So we'll just go ahead and uh, hit enter for this. And this will go ahead and uh, begin our installation process for the Ubuntu server. So we'll just let it continue. And uh, right here, it's asking us for the language. I'll leave it as English. The layout is US English, so I'm just going to hit enter for that. And then we want to uh, install Ubuntu server, yes. For here, this is our network configuration. I am good with that. And then for the proxy server, I'm just going to click enter for this, and it's going to choose the mirrors that are in my location. So in this case, I'm in US, so it's going to uh, fetch the images from my nearest location and i am just going to click done for that so i'll click enter um this is your disk space i i'm good with it the way it is currently so i'm just going to use entire disk and for this actually we need to scroll down using the down arrow on your keyboard and we will hit done and uh, this is your summary uh, so this is basically the summary for your configuration in your file system and i'm good with that so i will click done and here uh, this is saying uh, selecting continue will begin the installation process so i'm good with that i will continue and then here you can enter the name so i'm just going to enter my name here and uh, for the server i will say this is ubuntu 24 and for the username i will put my username and password here and click enter okay and i don't want to upgrade so i will continue i will skip that i also want to install open ssh server so let's do that and then for this i don't want to do anything here i will go ahead and skip that all right and now our installation is starting so we will let this one continue this might take some time so it's basically installing our kernel now so let's uh, let it run okay as you can see now our installation is complete so we just need to go ahead and reboot and this will install our server okay so for this one just press enter and it's going to bring us into our server right here okay and right here we just need to log in so we'll enter our username and the password all right and there we go we are logged in to our ubuntu server now and you can run your uh, commands and uh, as you can see this one does not have the 
uh, UI or at the Ubuntu desktop uh, because we installed the server. So you will not be able to see the Ubuntu uh, screen that you probably are used to. Uh, again, this is just a server. And uh, I think in the next video, I will be walking you through the process of installing the Ubuntu desktop. Uh, and you can see the difference between the desktop and the, the server. So in this case, we are basically done from here and you can start running your commands. So for example, you can uh, uh, start running Linux co commands. And uh, before we do that, let's just probably uh, update our system. Okay. Right, so this is going to update our system and uh, maybe we can create a text here. Let's call this one actually TST, yeah, like that. And you, you can see that uh, and we can uh, write commands to it. We can actually uh, write some text to that. Hello, Ubuntu. And we are writing this to test.txt. And if you output that, you can see that you are now able to uh, see your commands. Okay, so let's see what other commands we can run here. So for example, let's get our IP address for this machine. So if you type if config, this is going to bring our IP address right there. Uh, and so we can actually connect from our terminal. We can SSH from our terminal. That is our Mac environment terminal to this Ubuntu server. So now that we have our IP address here, we can try to do that. So let me just get out of here and I will minimize this. And we will bring our terminal right here. And from here, we can just do SSH and we'll do the name for our machine. That's the username and then the IP address. So that is uh, 172.16.28.131 so all right and we will click yes and enter the password for our fear machine there we go so you can see now from our terminal we can ssh to our fear machine and you can also see the same thing here so maybe from our terminal we can create additional uh maybe another text file here so we can do echo hello from mac terminal like this and we will say test uh mac dot txt all right so you can see now we have that file created and we can also output the file for that as well so you can see we are able to do that from our terminal and just to show you that that is synced if you go back to your terminal here in your firm environment and just list uh, list here you can see that uh, that text file has been uh, is showing here as well and you can still run the same command as well okay all right, so you can now run your commands as you wish, uh, but you have successfully installed your Ubuntu server in your VMware Fusion in Mac environment. All right, guys, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Um, in the next video, we will go through the process of installing the desktop on VMware Fusion. So do stay tuned for that video and one way of doing that is by subscribing to the channel. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now so that you can be updated. Uh, there are a number of videos that I've made uh, in this channel. I have made GCP videos, I have made um, AWS, uh, DBT related and I will also be releasing a number of videos on virtualization. Uh, basically, my topics are, are around data engineering and uh, tech related tools. So if you are interested in those topics, uh, please do subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified. Alright guys, that's all I had for you in this video. I will see you next time. Bye bye.